mouth for the question and answer program. But on behalf of the IPOB leadership and on behalf of the DOS, I'm coming here this afternoon to lend our voice against what is happening in our land. A lot has been happening in our land, but the latest development where 14 Igbo youths were massacred in our mama. Yes, the IPOB leadership has released the press release a couple of days ago, and we have been monitoring the situation in Imo State from the day this youth were massacred. That is almost a week. A week plus today. How they were massacred in a cold blood where they went for a wedding and the Edubagu Malaysia recruited by Dave Vumari, Vopos of Enma, the DSS. A couple of times I have come on this radio to tell our people about Ibubago, those who are working as Ibubago Malaysia, those who recruited them. On many occasions, this subject has been discussed on Radio Biafra. We have screened, we have write, we have we wrote a lot of press release. And we continue to write to educate our people the evil, the atrocities in Bago are committing in our land. But it happens that the worst one just happened some few days back when these youths were massacred. Some of them, their pictures were published online. You can see how young they are. You can see their relatives, their siblings what they are saying about their younger ones that were killed and how they were killed. The evidence are all there. The video of the wedding, the traditional wedding, where they went for the traditional uh, marriage, the evidence are there. All these things, the IPOB leadership, after waiting for many years, many weeks, we found out that everybody has gone mute. All the politicians that we challenge any time IPOB says something, they gone mute. All the Pentecostal pastors, they have all gone mute. All the civil servants. The politicians, the senators, the House of Red members, even none of the governors in the whole of the eastern region condemned what happened to these evil youths, how they were massacred in cold blood. This is the thing we have been saying on radio. That on Sundays, in most cases, they adopt people in in Biafra land. They adopt people. They go. They the bagos. The people, the Nigerian agents, they go in the evening of Sundays. They adopt people. They kill them. On Monday morning, they will tell you it is ESN and IPOB that they were enforcing sit at home. Why they couldn't? Put up this blame against sit at home was because when it happened that night, they proceeded also to where the traditional wedding were being conducted and destroyed the home. And people that survived are now coming out to tell their stories. That is why they couldn't say it is sit at home. Atrocity. 
they now say these are ESM members gathered somewhere planning on how to impose sit at home. And we, everybody knows that we have already called off this sit at home. But many people still want to use the sit at home. It is beneficial to them because it is a day. It helps them in committing crimes. It helps them in attacking people under the pretext that they are conducting sit at home. But today, I am here on the radio to call our people to rise up against the killing of these 14 Igbo youths. They have been killing our youths for a very long time. They have been killing our people for a very long time. They continue to kill many families. They kill them. They burn their houses. And after one week of investigating, trying to understand the situation in surrounding these killings, IPO Vinigasi decided to make, to place their support for all our people who are coming out all these days to protest. And today, officially, we are supporting all the evil youths, all the traders, all the people who are protesting. We are talking about peaceful protest. It is time that we are going to rise up from today for a peaceful protest against the killing of these evil youths in Imo State. These things are happening in one way or the other in other states, but the killing of these 14 evil youths should not be swept under the carpet. IPOB will make sure that this issue is not swept under the carpet. It is not an issue before they will twist it and take it out of context. This is not the issue of IPOB. This is not a Biafra matter. These, these youths were killed by a malicious group, a malicious group put together by the Eastern governors, by some governors in our own region. And we cannot allow them to misinterpret or misinform the public over the death of this innocent youth. Therefore, what we are saying today, we call all our people wherever you are today, wherever you are in Imo State, we are calling the communities, teachers, civil servants, traders, KK riders. It might be you tomorrow. Today it is those young boys Tomorrow, most of you are now living in fear because of the atrocities of Fuegubago. And what we are saying today is this. Every one of you in Imo State and other parts of Biafra land must rise up. We are not talking about riots. We are talking about a peaceful demonstration. A peaceful protest. We must rise up and protest against this excess killing of our people in Imo State, in Anambra, in uh, in uh, in State, in Ajay State. We must rise up. And where are we rising up today? For that reason, IPOB is saying from today until Ebubago. It's abolished in our land. We shall be marching almost on a daily basis until all these demands will be met. We will make sure that a Bubadu is banned in Biafra land. It is a must. We must rise up and support these communities 
and they massacred these innocent evil youths, evil Biafran youths. It is not a Biafran protest. This is just against the killings of our people. A Bubayagu must be abolished in our land, in Biafran land. A Bubayagu, everybody must rise up. We must stop the killing of evil youths. DSS must stop the killing of evil youths. There must be justice for evil youths. There must be justice for these 14 youths that were killed extrajudicially in the state by a Bubago. And all these days they are trying their best to cover up what they are doing. Government, Nigerian government must stop sponsoring a Bubago and stop sponsoring kidnapping and mayhem in our land. All the churches we have in our land must start demanding for justice for the killing of these evil youths. This is something everybody must rise up. The elders of our land must all come up to make sure we demand justice from the government. Those who are murdering our youths, it has become a tradition that youths from 10 years old up to 17 years are being rounded up by the Nigerian security, rounded up by a bubago in most communities and being extrajudicially killed. We must all rise up. Mothers, mothers, you have a responsibility. These are your children. They are killing them. I kill those 14 in our mama yesterday. Who knows who they will kill tomorrow? Therefore, we are calling for every mother Every young lady, it might be your brother today, it might be your cousin tomorrow, because the rest, they are moving around in our land, killing young boys, it is unacceptable. Also, Igbos that are traveling from other states, crossing Igbo states, are all in danger. If you are coming from Anambra, passing from Imo State, your life is in danger because likely you may be adopted and you may be killed. All the stations where a Bubago are stationed in Imo State must be shut down. This is some of our demands. Our people must rise up. If you know you are an evil man, you know you are an evil dear friend, you must rise up and join this protest. But let me make this protest very, very clear for those who do not understand. As you are going to protest, the Nigerian government will do everything possible to disrupt this protest. They will ask people to use Biafra flag. In this protest, there is nothing like Biafra flag. You are not advised to use the Biafran flag to go for this protest. This is strictly on evil killings. You are not advised to go there for a riot. You are not advised to go there to cause any mayhem because we want to make sure that this protest lasts as long as we can until these demands are met. We will make sure that a Bubago we no more operate in our land because it has become a contract given to all these Islamists. People like Asali Dokubo, like Uwazulike, they are now taking the contract to recruit criminals from other states, bringing them inside the states on a salary of 170,000 to come and kill Igbo youth. All these records and all these facts are there for everyone to see. Killing of evil youth has become a business for some of our brothers in the River Rai area and some of our brothers in the hinterland. They are now going on continuous recruitment because they are given the contract to recruit people who they are paying 170,000 naira salary 
to hunt Igbo people, hunt IPOB members, hunt innocent young boys in secondary school. These are their targets. These are the people they are killing. If you go to Olu today, many youths have all run away from their town because they pick you. The moment they pick you, they are not going to let you go. They will kill you. In Omoma, the stadium in Omoma, where Ebubago is stationing in Omoma, in that particular stadium, they kill and burn innocent youths inside that stadium. And we are saying today, all our demands are, what we are demanding that Ebubago must be banned, the stadium must be shut down. Everywhere Ebubago has their headquarters, we must make sure that our demands are met. This protest will continue to go on until those things are all shut down. Hope of Uma equipped the Ebubago in Omoma in such a way that they are heavily armed, killing people. The Ogu, the man leading the Ebubago in Imo State, is a well-known drug baron doing drug business with Hopus of Emma. The Ogu they are talking about that killed these innocent young boys. Everybody knew him that when he was in Mozambique, it was a drug business he's into. He returned back to Imo State. He has this uh, Miri, he is one of the biggest supplier of Mpurumiri in Imo State and other parts of Biafra land. This mayor of Mozambique. These are the kind of people who Zodimna handed over a militia because he's using that undercover. He's attacking people who he's doing drug business with those he will give handover drug businesses they did not deliver or they, he go and kill them if he didn't find them he killed their family burn their house most of these things you hear happening within all under the command of this ogu is most of them are revenge on drug businesses they are you need to hunt young boys he is a monster we have heard all his voice messages where they are trying very hard to deny that they don't know. There is a video they released of recent where they are trying to prove the guy that sent them that mentioned the name. But you can hear his voice when he's asking the boy. Him Ogu, who have gone on a, a killing spray in Imo State. He knows very, very well all the people he said they killed. All these are because of drug businesses he is dealing with people. That is how they are killing each other among themselves. They are threatening each other among themselves under the cover of a bubago. When they, they, they were launching a bubago, they say it will be evil youths within Ebubago. Today, it is no more evil youths. It is now criminals and drug smugglers. These are all the people they brought in. Into, they now invite their friends in other states. They invite their friends, criminals, other states. There is more. Come. Come over. Come over. Salary is 170. And they are all keeping in massacring our people under the pretext that they are looking for IPOB and they are combating crime. And they are the same people that are committing the crimes. Ogu and his group will go to anywhere, any length to kill people. If Ogu is denying all these things, let him come and sit. Let IPO bring in people to ask him. We will shock him with the kind of people we will bring out to ask him questions. Whenever he's talking on telephone, anytime Ogu is talking on telephone to all of you that are calling him, ask him why did he kill Pepe? 
Let me not mention names before they will say I am mentioning names of people. But ask him, why did you kill Pepe? Most of the guys he killed, their wives and children are dead. Widows, fatherless children. This guy killed because of God business between all who exist. He has massacred a lot of our youth before this one happened. He was already a wanted person by ESN and IPOB before he committed this crime. That is why at the end of the day, IPOB have put a bounty on his head. We will never forgive him. And we will never let him go free. One of the things we must demand is a Bible must be banned. Let us know the coverage they will be using again. All these drug smugglers, all these important dealers in our land. Every day you complain about your brothers are involved in important You complain our brothers are involved in drugs in the communities everywhere. These are the people sponsoring them. These are producers. These are producers. They are working with government officials. Because they do those business, they need government protection. When you want to set up a secret outfit, all of them will come inside to hijack it because they see you are giving them license to the God. I have said this thing on several occasions. You do not fight in security with guns and bullets. You fight in security with intelligence. You cannot stay criminals away with guns and bullets. We can learn from what has happened in our land for since we are born. Since most of us were born, Nigeria always, any small thing, they use gun and bullet, killing, killing, killing. Every day they continue to kill. For no reason they kill. You talk to them, they kill. You answer them, they kill. Anyway, they are just want to kill you. But what we are saying, there are better ways to handle this insecurity in our land. There are many ways to handle this insecurity in our land. If every one of you watch, in a couple of weeks now, or getting to a month now, everybody has seen the tension in Anambra and the side of Imo State, have all, they are all coming down. We are making it possible. ESN and the IPO, we are making it possible. We are dislodging the enemies without even shooting a gun. With enough intelligent gatherings, IPO, and ESN are dismantling the people, and some of them we cannot dismantle. They are now leaving the state or going to respect themselves and thinking the next plan, what they want to do. When we were saying it for the people that these people want to destroy this struggle with criminality, the same thing they did in Masop, destroy. Everybody knew that Wazurike destroyed the Biafra movement between kidnapping. Every one of you know that. All of you knew that Wazurike destroyed the Biafra struggle under Wazurike was destroyed with kidnapping and criminality. The same thing they want to do with this, our struggle again, and we said, no, they cannot. People come on social media, they talk nonsense. ESN and IPOB, we value the life of our people. We value the life. The commanders of ESN can tell you how strict they are being warned on carrying out their activities. The DSS surrounded a young boy who was talking that his name is Kim and so that they were interviewing. Everybody saw the mess, the stage interview. The guy was saying that he joined ESN and IPOB one year ago, like one year ago. Every one of you know, knew that IPOB has not been recruiting since 2001. Since 2001. IPOB has not been, ESN 
Martin Namdekano or radio stop the recruitment of ESN officers. No, any new impact was banned by Martin Namdekano. IPOB families, because of the COVID problem, IPOB families have not been conducting and the insecurity because of SS arrest, they were also asked not to take in new family members. Now, the guy said he joined IPOB one year ago, approximately one year from the time Mazen Nandekano was detained. So if Mazen Nandekano was detained, was, was adopted from June, and we are now in July, and he joined it one year ago, that means he joined those criminals immediately Mazen Nandekano was adopted. He became part of the criminal gang. And if you listen to him, he said that baby, everybody could remember baby, the guy that was going around killing, stealing, burning people houses, raping our own gang. When I mentioned his name in December as one of the criminals terrorizing Imo State and Anambra, he ran to Uruala. In Idato, he continued the criminality, robbing. Uruala was not witnessing great crimes at that time. He ran to that place, started the criminality with a Bubago, he's a Bubago criminal team also, and at the end of the day, he was captured and they paraded. Everybody saw the day he was captured that everybody was jubilating. And all that time, somebody came out and said that baby is his boss. That's supposed to tell you who the person is, that he is also a criminal. Every story that boy spoke on that interview, every story he told uh, people, the public, was all rubbish and stage managed. There are many ESL officers that in one time or the other, the Nigerian DSS have captured them. They tried all they could for them to stage manage this kind of interview, and they refused. We have lots of IPOB members who have been arrested one time or the other, and they were asked to come and do this kind of interview, and they will continue paying them, and they set them free, and they refuse. We have many of them. What DSS did is a very simple. Anybody, even the market women, can do, they can do that. They can they can state manage that interview. Since the killing of these youths, they are trying all they could to deceive the public. Today, because of the sale of these fourteen youth, they shut down. Uziza FM being anchored by Nonsongwa, Teodo Chinomso. They shut his radio station down. Today morning, the DSS and the military, they surrounded his house. And thank God for all the social media warriors. When we hear the news, because he had no one who be one now, but also because he, we consider him as somebody who is very outspoken in things happening and the, the social media IPO social media warriors we took it as a responsibility to support his voice as we started sharing all the news everywhere tweeting it tweeting it but everywhere so that the world should know what is happening and thank god we have come and do a live video and wrote that the people they, they have uh, the siege the military have left his in his home and now for now that he's free we ask him to remain very strong he is a voice that people are hearing and when we found that there are people who have voices who are saying the truth irrespective you are ipod or you are not ipod but what we want are those who are as spoken who can call a spade a spade who can rise up and say this is bad especially when you kill our people in cold blood for no reason, they are not criminals, they did not commit any crime, and you decided to kill them, that one IPOB will never keep silent. Maze Aipitas, 
like I said, I didn't come for an interactive session, but I have come to tell our people to rise up. Let us go and support and lend our voices against the killing of evil youth. We ask every one of you, as you are going there, have your bottle of water, people on the street should support, and we are saying, for this protest, from 2 o'clock, on a daily basis, all evils, whether you are working in the bank, whether you are working in the market, AKK drivers, you can do your business from morning till 2 o'clock, we are pleading, we are not forcing anybody, we are not saying we are going to force anybody to go, but what we are saying, if it is 2 o'clock, immediately it is 2 o'clock, in anything you are doing, try to go and support those who are protesting for the killing of these children, for the killing of our sons, for the killing of our younger brothers, that is happening on a daily basis in Imo State, and other parts of Ibo land. What we are saying today, anything you are doing, today is Tuesday. We must, our demands that a Bible must be banned in Biafra land and abolished. We must achieve that. We are saying, every two o'clock, whatever you are doing, if you go into the market, you are a trader, close your shop and join the people. Call it a sacrifice that you can do to stop the killing because tomorrow they can come to your shop to kill you. If you are a take driver, you are a trader, a civil servant, a government worker, no matter anything you are, transport unions, pastors, clergymen, bishops, make sure that you lend your voice towards to fight against the killing of evil youth. They say the youths are the future of every nation. That if they can kill all, if they can kill all the youths, then what is our hope? You can see mothers crying. The two brothers that were killed, we heard that out of shock, the mother of those children are still in the hospital. Nobody knows if they will. It is a shock that you can lose two children who went for a wedding. The videos are there. Instead of the governor to come out and apologize to the families, apologize to the communities, there is nothing that has happened that he, if he want to, settle the differences he can do it instead they are trying to prove that they are right they are trying to prove that what everybody is i mean everybody is a witness of what happened peoples the world is a witness even the state in Kavu they did everybody knew that this is all state managed what will it cost hopes of them and the DSS who are set to come out and say, this is a failed operation. We failed. We killed these people out of failed intelligent gathering. We killed these people for so, so, so reason. We are very sorry for this. And we will pay compensation for this. What of if it was a suicide bomber that killed them? What of if anything can kill them? But for the fact that they refuse, instead for them to come apologizing, they now grow lips, trying to blackmail the dead, because most of them cannot wake up and speak for themselves. But thank God there are people who are still witness to what happened. Therefore, all evils are urged to join this protest, like I said, we are not enforcing protests. We are not telling you that. But what we are saying is this. For the love of our people, for the love of the evil people, for the love of those that they have killed in cold blood, for us to say no to this killing, for us to say no to a bubago every two o'clock, you can close your shop. Most of you do close your shop. 
to go for for prayer fellowship in the church what we are saying you people can do it you can close up every two o'clock even if you go and hand them over water you go and give them if it is gala go and support the people in any way you can spend some hours there lend your voice your presence matters so much let us tell them that the killing is enough that we are tired of killing our own youths that they can they should stop sponsoring terrorists into our land to come and kill us we are not going to say too much what we are doing is to we, this is for the evil people but for those recruiting recruiting terrorists people come on radio sometimes they talk certain things asari dokubo this asari dokubo we will not come on social media to talk about we have a score to settle the ESN and the Asari Dokubo, we have a score to settle. He knows, maybe he hears Awosa, as the Awosa said, Gafini Gadoki. We and Asari Dokubo have a score to settle. And I don't have much to talk about that, but we shall see in the end who will win because we know him and the um, uh, um, uh, um, um, Wazirike, you know, this thing is happening in Wazirike backyard. He entered inside like he don't know what is happening. Also, don't forget, they were mentioning Osi Hitoka, that they are in Osi Hitoka. Let me tell you people one thing. Mazichi Kedozian came the other day and announced on air that ESN have no cap in Osi Hitoka. ESN have no cap in Lilu. In most of those places, he has made it very clear on radio. Anybody can say whatever he likes. We have no presence in those places. And we have no reason to be present in those places. Criminality is not accepted in IPOD. You cannot use the name of IPOD in your criminality. You cannot use the name of IPOD in your drug business. You cannot. For all of you who are in diaspora, this is for IPOD members. Most of you in America, some of you in Asia, some of you in Europe, who are trying to form, you now turning your, your village boys into a gangsterism. I am asking all your village people answering now. You came out for this struggle because of the restoration of Biafra. You came out for this struggle because you hear the voice of Mazen and the Kano. Now they are recruiting you. They send you because you are so hungry that 100,000 you sell your people. You think you are smart. They are sending you money, my boys. They are grooming you, using you to attack, to put insecurity in your village. You are the one to pay, not me. I'm not IPOD because what you are doing will surely, it must surely cut up on you. They call you, they send you money. Those sponsoring people from, those in America, handling some people in Oguta. Those handling the people in, uh, in um, what they call, in Wezike. We know everything that you are doing. One thing is this, the time that we catch you, the time that we catch you, sooner or later also, I hope you one IPOD member there. We will not come. I'm making it very clear. You are an IPOD member if you indulge in any criminality and you are caught. You are not. We will not come for you. We are, we are saying it boldly. IPOB is not into any criminality. IPOB is not into kill this or kill that. If you go and involve yourself in criminality, I can tell you, you won't see any IPOB member. No lawyer will come for you. No family member will visit you. You will pay the price of criminality. I am making it very, very clear. Because what most of you does is, like for example in Iguacha, when we discover some people claiming that they are IPOB members, they were abandoned in one of Iguacha prison, 
by the time we met, a couple of times we took care of them, but when we sent for verification, we found out that they were in prison because they went for crime. They went for armed robbery. And they, inside the prison, they claimed to be IPOD members. Another one raped an underage girl of seven years. You are inside the prison. You claim IPOD. We will not come for you. I'm making it very, very clear. So that those who want to talk, let them start crying from now. You cannot commit crime. IPOD have thousands of people in detention who are genuinely in detention because of the freedom for the restoration of Biafra. You cannot go to commit crime when others are fighting on how to restore our nation. You are involving yourself into criminality and when they caught you, after some time they say you are IPOD member, they forget you. And finally, those of you using letters threatening our people, threatening our people, let me tell you, your mission is just to destroy this struggle. You wrote letters to some evil young men who are struggling for life. They are in diaspora trying to make a living. They are working. Maybe you saw they build a house. A house that took them more than 20 years to complete. A house that took them 10 years to complete. One year, October, one block. After you might have finished building the, car, uh, the house. Tomorrow, you ask him if he don't support Biafra, you come and burn the house. Please, you are not doing this in the name of IPOB. IPOB do not support this nonsense. Those who will support the struggle, we support them genuinely from their hearts. I am making it very clear. All of us in this struggle, we were not threatened by Mazen Mandekan before we joined this struggle. Anybody who wants to be part of this movement will be part of this movement. Please, some of you using this criminal tendency, you calling it a guy. Some of you call it a Nakam India. You are calling people. Threatening them in the name of IPUB. Lord, thing I'm telling you, some of you, we have your audio messages. We have most of you, most of the threats you are doing to our people, innocent people. What you are doing is for our people to turn against this struggle. That is what you people are doing. You are giving a bad impression in the name of IPUB. We are fighting for freedom. You are calling your own people, threatening them. If they don't give you five million, you come and burn their house. If they don't give you this, most of you, we have your audio messages. We have your threats. You are threatening people in the name of IPOB. I am going to publish these names when time comes. And I will publish your audio conversations. As you are threatening people, innocent Biafrans. Whether you are working for Nigerian government, we ask you to desist. Whether you are, whoever you are working for, this is not the channel we are going to use. Our leader abhor criminality in this struggle. Our leader abhor kidnapping in this struggle. Our leader abhor any kind of criminality. In most occasions, people here, he said, any day we involve into criminality, start killing our people, Biafra will not come. And that is what many of you are involving yourself. Anybody they don't know before IPOB become very rooted on ground, it is because we started from the grassroots. Only on everyone, I have the telephone, no and the He tell them go, 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 go and do something. They continue committing crime. When they commit crime, because you want to have boys under you. For us. We don't come for that. We are building an institution. We are building an institution that when we have come and gone, people will continue on those things. We don't need any boys. We don't want boys. We want institutions. We want things that will last and we pass it to the next generation. Because we are building boys. Tomorrow the boys will die. You could not pass anything to the next generation. That is why IPOB continue to maintain their structure. IPOB leadership and the ESN, we don't threaten anybody because
because what we are doing is not personal. Nobody can say that genuinely that no IPOB, I mean, ESN commander have called you and threatened you for anything because these are men that are well disciplined. I have never, since I am part of this struggle, I have never got any report that any ESN commander called somebody threatening him. You cannot hear it. For no reason, these are one of the most disciplined commanders. But, but, these criminals, they came in, this in the only, the dealers of drugs, they deported from abroad. They are the one causing havoc in our land. They are using them to destroy the name of IPOD. They are using them to destroy the name of this struggle. And what we are saying, we said no. This is not the reason why we joined this struggle. This is not the reason why we came to liberate our people. But what I'm saying this afternoon is this. Let what happened to the Israelites when they were going to the land of Canaan, let it not happen to us. Let it not be that this generation will fight and do everything, they will not see the land of Canaan. Maybe by the time the land, by the time the freedom will come, most of us have all gone. It will be our grandchildren now that will inherit it. It is not bad if we see the Canaan. But if we decide to destroy it, it is not still going to stop the affair from coming. But other people are the ones to see that the kingdom of Chukoki Kadama that was restored. It is only your name. They might hear or they might not hear your name. What I'm saying this afternoon, dear friends, let us ask him and ask us to ask him and ask us to ask him and ask us to ask I will stop here. Let's go to God. I'm bless you for the work you are doing for your people because I know you people wake up very early in the morning to anchor this radio. Just these few hours I am here, it is not easy that every day at your age, you have served this nation for a very long time, from a young age, you fought as a Biafran soldier. Today you are anchoring radio Biafra. It is a great pleasure and great honor being on your platform. And I say, may Chuko Kikadiyama bless you, bless you too. and bless all your families. Well, thank you very much.